I can hear you. I can hear you too. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the San Pacheco Gymnasium for your today's varsity basketball game against the Falmouth Clippers. I'm Ann Whiting. I'm here with Clifton Paul Robinson, back from grad school, <laughs> the professional student that we have here. Ten years ago, he got his uh, debut at Martha Bean Regional High School calling basketball games, and I drafted him to help me out here. How you doing, Paul? I am good. How are you doing? I'm good. we got Danny Whiting on the camera. But the season opener for both teams, and there's a Cape and Islands League contest, although there's three divisions in the Cape and Islands League, and we're in the middle division. Uh, last year, we we also played them in the first game of the season, and we came out on top 44-39. to 39. We only played them once on the schedule this year. The boys are home today, obviously, and the girls are across the sound for their game. Boys are home today? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> they better be, because we're here. Starting lineup for the Clippers is starting right now. We're just gonna, I can't go on live until uh, YouTube music stops. So anyway, <laughs> Falmouth ended the season six and thirteen, and and the Vineyarders made it through to the states and lost to Bishop Stang. Final record was ten and nine. Vineyard boys are talented this year, a lot of experience led by senior captains Mateus Rodriguez, Ryan Coster, and Toby Roberts. The big man is junior Josh Lake, along with uh, Sam Zach. The ball handling done by guard Nate Story in the third varsity season. The team is a deep bench and should be fun to watch this season. Co Mike Joyce is in his umpteenth year as head coach, assisted by Kane Rujo and Phil Cash. And we got the starters for the Vineyard. Mateus Rodriguez coming straight off of his fabulous soccer goalie season. Goal and center, that's a pretty good uh, duo right there. Yeah, no, he's, he's a, it a works beast. Well together. He's a beast underneath the board. This is the guard, number four, Nate Story. Ryan Coster is also a guard, senior number 12. He had a great soccer season as well. He lost it with a broken collarbone, but he uh, came back to the tournament. Toby Roberts, number 21, he's a senior captain. Try captain. 33, Josh Lake. All right, Mary's going to try to get her throat cleared or do the <laughs> anthem. Mary and Russ McDonald down on the board. A couple of new changes this year for varsity basketball on the high school level is there's no longer a 30-second shot clock. There's a 35-second shot clock. And the shot clock is also used to determine the 10-second violation, meaning that the kids have 10 seconds to get it inbounded. So the shot clock operator is on uh, double duty here. Oh. I don't know how I feel about the 35 seconds. No, but extra five seconds. We're going to see. We didn't I didn't have too many 30-second <coughs> violations. In, uh, no, it's not common in general, but I, I see it more from a game management standpoint. If you're holding that decent lead, you can kind of whittle it down with even extra time. 
Maybe right. that's why. Maybe it's just avoid yeah, extra. Maybe. I don't know. Extra point scoring. Um, Not in, sure. In, in blowouts, but I, mean, I still remember when I was two years into collegiate fun. announcing when. Uh, Collegiate women, announcing, when, yeah, when, when, when women's basketball switched from two halves to four quarters. Right. Um, which was actually a really fun change. It actually made the game a lot faster. Um, okay, ten minute quarters that we could use. Yes. Basketball, I think, at least should be in the. But yeah, at at the collegiate level, it really helped the four quarters. It moved the games along a lot faster. True. Um, so we'll see how the thirty five second goes. This is the first year doing it. I think. Yeah, you're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Principal comes by, little cameo appearance. And a nice win. Oh, body's on the floor. Starting off strong. Nate Story bringing the ball up. Man to man defense for the Clippers. Screen shift by Lake. We'll see how separate the uh, JV versus varsity is for the Clippers as the JV game. They were playing a strong full court press. Yes, taking it uh, strong to hoop was Rodriguez there. Oh. Nice steal. Foster with the steal going up with the left hand and two. First points of the year. Jared Coster. Or Ryan Coster, Ryan other Coster. one. Vineyard is in his own defense. Over the three, and he makes it. That's Gavin Friel. Friel, the junior guard for the Clippers. Yeah, you've got the roster with the positions. I just have. Uh, oh, you've got the names. names. Oh, there numbers. we go. That's, That's what the color commentator's for. That's a travel. That is a travel. Got a little caught up in the movement on that one. I like the Team Nikes here. They get the light blue ones going. Wrong, uh, wrong sports color, or wrong mascot color in that respect. Well, but they oh, off the foot. They don't have, they don't make purple ones. Although Mike Joyce has got purple ones. Well, they're probably those are probably legacy ones. <laughs> five, five. Oh, that was close. Thomas on top, three to two. We're just underway here at the CNC. There's and they make it six, no. Weak side board is uh, oh. controlled by the Clippers, and they do a little baseline pass to. That's number 22, Brendan Mahoney, the senior forward. The video trailing by three now. 6.20 remaining in the first half. First quarter. Sorry, first quarter. We'll get you on two. There we here. go, it'll, it'll happen. Inside, no foul. Oh. Great rebound. That is all ball, but a great job there. Rodriguez, by Rodriguez is a beast inside on the boards. Soccer goalie hands, nice trap. Lakes getting back defensively. He offered the shot, but uh, still went down by Jackson. Jackson Falcon. I think Blake did the right, right call there with the don't don't give him the foul. Rodriguez all day inside. Oh, he traveled on the, on the landing. He had a little help with. I didn't moving. see the pivot foot move. I was also getting it's obstructed by the coach. Soccer uh, officiating arguing already here. Not a, yeah. <laughs> he did have a little help in moving. I think. Yeah. I, uh, you know. We'll be it able happens. to see it on. <clears throat> I have my phone hooked up to the YouTube feed, which is about 30 seconds. Yeah, That's we got right. a good replay. Friel with the Figure ball passes still over. in their uh, zone defense. Oh, beautiful wow. shot by Jack Watson. Yeah, so that's four different scores for the Clippers, and they're on up 10 to 4 with 5 minutes and 16 seconds left to go. Good rebound, and got to finish the put back. Oh, a foul. Uh, first foul of the game has been called, and it's on number 22, Brendan Mahoney. Mateus Rodriguez really just looks effortless in the movement out there. He's, it's uh, like, I mean, I think it comes partially athlete. through the the strength difference. He's a fabulous that. athlete, no question. A great kick, too. And in a center that can shoot free throws. That's even even more rare. But finner has got some height. Short 
short. And he gets his own shot. rebound. Should be good, and it is. Nate Story. That's a, that's a uh, paint feeler yeah. on the ceiling here. <laughs> that thing had some loft. Good trap. He's Under five to go in the first quarter. He's in a 2-3 defensively. Oh, nice move. The three-pointer is up. No good. Rebound controlled by Lake. I think what's nice in this respect for the vineyard is they have two, they have a, they, at the four and five, they have people that are almost the same height. But having that athletic center really just changes the whole center of the court on offense. Yep, there's Roberts getting his hands on the ball. And I think we've seen this recently just in all levels. Nice move. Oh, wow. And that's an unnatural movement for a center right there. No, he's, he's can handle it. He's, he's got five points now. Vineyard's tied it up at 10. Excellent Strip. job. He's a he's a mis machine on the offensive court. Yeah, he just has to <clears> make sure he doesn't stay in the lane too long. Uh, exactly, yeah. Oh, and the... And oh, he called a foul on that. I don't no, think... Called oh, call timeout. Time okay. Oh, yeah. Coach, yeah. Coach Paul Lumber called timeout as the Vineyard is now... Guys... <laughs> Yeah, we got you guys it. careful, careful. Please be careful going by with the cords and stuff and the camera. Okay? So the Kids are on the wrong side <laughs> in this time, but <laughs> eh. <laughs> They're good. I just don't want them to trip over the cord. <laughs> Take a header. They yours now? Three fifty four remaining in again. the Who's first quarter off of the Clippers timeout. <laughs> Vineyard lead oh, twelve to ten. Fairly clean game so far. Also one f or one foul overall. I don't keep track of the fouls. No, the scoreboard does it for you. Yes. Um, 32 seconds left on the shot clock for this. That means they have seven seconds. No, they'll still get 10. They'll still oh, get like, 10. Oh, it resets on the timeout. No, no. They, they'll, they'll now call a 10-second violation at 22. Yeah, okay. So they're using the shot clock as for their 10-second Call. They know more of the ref, you know, counting with their arm going back and forth. And I mean, having two, having the four and five for the vineyard being roughly the same size, definitely a big advantage when they both can move well. Because I mean, the way Rodriguez looks like he moves, he can move like a point guard out there. No, he's a talented athlete, as I said. Hey, inbounding the ball, number ten. No, he can change Manning. directions like a soccer goalie. And you're still in the 2-3. But ain't broke. And oh, number 12. beautiful shot. Zach Watson's got five points. Tie game, 12-12. 3-32 left. We beat them by, there's a nice drive to the hoop. Over under, are we going to see a dunk today? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh nice steal. Oh, nice steal. Nice move inside and count the hoop. Josh Lake, great unselfish play by Rodriguez to get the uh, ball, do a nice little give and go here for a chance for a uh, three point play. I already put three to three on my score feet. They haven't, hasn't exactly made the foul shot yet. Don't jinx them, you have a knack for uh, that I one. I do, I'm very good at that. But he um, makes it, there you go. Whew. Vineyard take the five point lead. This full court press really messing with the Clippers on this. So far, two costly turnovers off of the inbound pass. Well, let's give the defense credit for steals. Oh, How's that? There you go. That's a trap. Oh, and that's going to be back, back four. Oh, we, no. we, we tipped it. And now guess. a steal. And, and a, a foul. foul. That foul is going to be on number 12 for the Clippers, Jack Watson. Team's third, his first. Vineyard is uh, angelic out there. No fouls have been called. However, that's the official. Yeah, yeah that's another J. <laughs> gets a death for them. Nice. Ooh. Nate gets nice it recovery. back. 
Roberts for three, no good. Rebound controlled by the Clippers. Ooh, that could have been an and one on that. Eh, I didn't hear a slap. That's the uh, fifth score for the Clippers. Bringing it to 14 for them. Vinny's got 17. There's. Six. Oh. <laughs> Josh Lake from beyond yeah, we the arc. He can shoot that. He's, he's smooth. The junior. Story's a junior. The rest of them are seniors out there. So a team that's played together. That's the trick. Yeah, no, they've got been a lot of varsity experience. Story and Lake. There's oh. a backboard. Oh, we'll take the strip. If only he could dunk. <laughs> that would have been great. No, he wants to just. Been on top 22-14 now, stretching the lead to eight. That was Nate Story. 135 remaining in the quarter. Twenty seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, there's just I'm gonna actually see too many violations oh. this year. No, I do not think you will. Then you're dogging them on defense. Because that would have been in the thirty second shot clock, that would have been more of a rush shot because it would have been two seconds left because they did it at seven seconds. So nice oh. steal. Roberts with the steal. Then your defensively is playing superb basketball. Staying home, not chasing. Being solid. The key, mistake-free basketball. Oh, beautiful. 11 points for Rodriguez, 24 for the Vineyard, and yeah. a 10-point lead. No, a subtle 11. <laughs> shot clock differs by 10, and that's going to be a Vineyard ball with the shot clock difference being three seconds. Subs going in for the... Clippers, number 21, uh, Kiefer Ryan has gone in, and I believe 14, Andrew Floored went in. And no subs for the Vineyard this quarter. Nope. I mean, if you have soccer players that are half of your lineup, I mean, you have the conditioning for the full court. Three of them are out there. Ooh, there's a little bit of a... Oh, Nate again with the rainbow. It's gonna knock the banner down. <laughs> Story, I'm telling you, he's, he doesn't mess around with the arc. Ten There's seconds. No flat on his shot. Shot clock off. You have a drive, pass out. Send it, send it. Oh, send he it. lost it. Roberts lost the handle, but the Vineyard had an impressive first quarter, 27 points. 14 for the Clippers. Now the Clippers may have had five players uh, scoring, but they had they had no match for Rodriguez down low. Uh, I don't th think many teams on the Cape will have an answer for Rodriguez down low this year. No, we get subs going in for the Vineyard. However, number 21. Uh, no, I'm sorry, number 20. Cam Napier has just checked in, and number five, Sam Zach, has checked in. So we have uh, Rodriguez. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I don't think you could have asked for a better quarter from the vineyard on that. That was almost no. perfect basketball. Three through threes. and through. Story's got uh, eight points. Coster's got a bucket, and Josh, he started off the game with the first basket of the season. I mean, we don't keep uh, outside of points. I should have been keeping rebounds. But well, they uh, got the, the, theoretically, the girls in front of us in the bleachers are keeping stats. Okay, so we can get him at halftime. But yeah, I think, uh, I, I don't think it's uh, too crazy to say Rodriguez might end up with a, uh, Rodriguez might end up with <laughs> a uh, nice double-double <laughs> on the, just to end the half. Oh, are you guys keeping the box for Hmm? Oh, we're doing the live recording. We're doing a live oh, telecast okay. right now. Okay, <laughs> I have, I have I have points, but I don't have I don't have stats for that. You're in that. You're in that. All right, let's throw with the live telecast. We have uh, <laughs> live telecasts are always fun like that. We got a yeah. first foul for the Vineyard is going to be on number 20, Cam, Cam Napier. Napier.
I'm not quite sure. It might have been a reporter from the. Yeah, we're technical reporters as we have that interception. Oh, oh he was. He thought about the. He thought about the dunk, thought but overcommitted. What? <laughs> The worst part is he could have had the dunk because he. Sl yeah, also, I actually think what disrupted it, and we can see it on the replay. I think him slapping the backboard disrupted his own shot. <laughs> and we're going for the three right off the bat, a little short. Rebound by Zach Napier, out on top to Coster. Coster. He has the opening. Floater in Ooh. the lane. Coster with his second basket. Nice little floater in the lane. 7.30 remaining in the half. Now I can you say can it. You can say it's uh, in the half or the second <laughs> quarter. Take your pick. It's all good. Peter Don uh, cruising here, 29-14. That's the two. His foot was on the line, and he missed it anyway. Coster bringing it down. Gets it to Napier. Back to Coster. Oh, nice pass, and one. Clippers definitely, I mean, compared to the Vineyard, Vineyard's mostly, Vineyard seems mostly seniors. Actually, no, solid half and half. Mm -hmm. But majority of this Clippers team looks to be juniors. One freshman, one sophomore, junior, senior. And the one is good. 7.06. Vineyard up, 32-14. Vineyard 14 keeping points. that yeah, full 14. court press up too. Why bother taking it off? We're not up by 25 If yet. it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. Exactly. Vineyard's in a man-to-man -man defense now. They've switched up for a man. And it's, uh, you can see they're dogging them on this three-point attempt. And good. good. Kevin that's, Friel. A, that's his second three. First bucket the Clippers have scored. They had a good five minute drought there. Napier drives. Oh, should have gone for that one. He had the well, look. He did, but he, once you get up in the air, I, he, and it's easy to defend because you have no option but to either shoot it or try to pass. It's easy to say it's easy from the headset. Oh, behind the back, no good. Yeah, that was Matador defense by the Vineyard. Not a lot of talking. Story behind the bank, behind the back rather strong and could be a charge. Yeah, offensive foul. That was like a bull in a china shop. Yeah, Andrew Ford took the uh, took the hit. Good call. Sub See, I in. can I can compliment refs on occasion. Yeah, no, that was a good call. Charges, I think, are pretty easy because you can just see them barreling oh. in. Oh. It's just that they're. Did he just lose control? Seeing the full court press back up. Under six to play in the half now. Zach with quick hands. And Vineyard's still in a man-to-man -man defense here. Yep. Yeah. Just got inside on that yeah. one. That's number five, Sam Zach. Shot clock reset on that, so another 35 seconds. But no one's in team fouls yet, trouble yet. We Vineyard's got three, uh, Clippers have four. Yep, all three of the Vineyard's fouls this half will come from the second quarter. Only one foul committed this quarter by the Clippers. Correct. Got to keep it all up there somewhere. Need some help. Clippers really seem to favor the three. I mean, when you're down this much, it makes sense. But even coming out of the game, they were they were looking for that three ball. They've made three of them. We've made uh, three of them. So mm. we're even on that. Uh, here comes uh, Kamel Timmons. Timmons coming in. Oh, beautiful move. Foster 20 seconds drives, left on the shot travels. clock. Travel. <laughs> that nice little uh, Michael Jackson slide on that one, backwards yeah. and all. He's going to go have a seat. I mean, he hasn't come out at all, so. Nope. Foster gets his first break of the day. We've got uh, so subs, does Ryan. Going, subs going in for the uh, number 34, Stam Stormer. He's gone in for the Clippers. Trying to get the rest of them set. 
And as it goes, Vineyard keeping the full court press on. Well, it's just a, it's a full, it's just man-man defense. They're playing this. If that's your man, you're with them. Still fighting through some screens. Clippers ball. He called timeout, but the ref didn't hear him. I mean, if you don't have possession of the ball, you can't call timeout. It was out of his hands as it was falling. I think Kamel just kind of reached in for that one. He didn't call a foul, though. No. No, no foul. I think, uh, he might have knocked it out I think of Tim in, yeah, Tim has knocked it out at the end. I'm glad you can see through the bench. No, I can't. I'm taking a complete guess. <laughs> it's okay. I knew who they were down there. I was taking a guess on what the ball happened, happened with the ball. That's why we need the sideline camera. Yeah, okay. Back when you were doing games, <laughs> oh. the shot clock was at six, and the vineyard picked it up. Napier pulls it up on top, going to reset. 25 seconds left on the shot clock. And the travel, didn't see that one, but. 425 remaining in the half. The vineyard. A little more, sta two. I mean, both teams a little stagnant this quarter score-wise. Yeah, we scored uh, five, they've scored three, yep. so yeah. No, no team really has taken many shots. That could have been a foul, that's a dangerous move on that. It's short. Story showing good speed and a little clipping foul by the Clippers. You like waiting that? for that one? <laughs> <laughs> good call. Gavin Field has he's drained a couple of threes. That's his first. He's going to have a seat, and Jackson Falcone is into the game. What's nice, though, only eight fouls called this entire half. Oh, oh well. hello. <laughs> you know, it's nice to, you know, guard the 6'5 uh, <laughs> center that's uh, responsible for over a third of the points. <laughs> wow. Oh, but. 16 for Rodriguez. Uncount, untold number of rebounds. There's a. Oh, holding oh. foul. Oh. I want to see who that. It's probably going to be on story. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The crazy thing is you can't really double team Rodriguez either because everyone else can shoot. True. Uh, you, you it's like pick, two, your, pick poison. your poison. Exactly. You can't, you can't catch a break on that one. Oh. Oh, on the fend off. All right. That was her. Jack Watson is his second. He's got five points. Again, we've... Uh, we're more than halfway through the quarter, and the uh, Clippers have only scored three points, and that was on a free of three. Nice three. <coughs> Whoop, hello. Ooh. Just a bit off. Well, no, he, he, he Matty moved before yeah. the pass. <laughs> Napier threw it in. Okay, so Ooh. Roberts and uh, Lake are going to go back to the game next whistle. And they'll definitely uh, be out the rest. Ooh, oh, beautiful nice block. block. I'm pretty sure at this point, nine seconds left on the shot clock, but Rodriguez at this Seven point I think six. has one of every stat as he gets his second steal of the game. You have to be careful of that charge, though. Three, no good. Oh, he tried to get a good board. Might have been over the back on that because he landed hard. We'll take the possession, though. Napier checking out. And Maddie's going to have a seat. Rodriguez is going to get a breather with uh, his 16 points, leading all scores. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's fine. It's, it's nice to get the other kids in. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, oh. That was a, not a good entry pass. That was a uh, Mac Jones pass. Hey, hey. <laughs> Simmons with the defense. Chasing down the rebound and again sticking up the loose ball is Lake. Whatever works. It's a weird movement on that one. Simmons. Tried for the uh, sky hook. Yeah, it was. Finish a shot. That's all. 220 remaining in the half. Little weave up on top, trying to tire out the man to man defense. You can tell the Clippers are tired. Oh, 
Could have been a loose ball foul, even though there's momentum on that one. Gotta be careful with the ACLs on that. Oh, a wide open middle. Timmons just can't connect. He's getting sloppy here now. Oh, they're gonna call a foul. That's gonna be his second, I believe. Yeah, it's aggressive defense oh, no. on him trying to get it. I don't know if people got tired out though. I mean, Joyce did a good job subbing everyone in and out. No, we're fine. You can tell, like I said earlier, you can tell with this full court man, Clippers are tired. I mean, three points the whole quarter so far. Don't want to jinx that, but. Ooh, nice pass. pass. I jinxed it. You did. That Moni was number 22. Was, yeah, but they've had, you know, five points this quarter. Vineyard's also been in a little drought. Hasn't been in a lot of uh, scoring for us. 1.30 left on the clock. 22 left on the shot clock. Oh, deep three. No good. Then you're still in the man defense. Oh, almost picked the pocket. Good hands by Roberts. Right, we got a hold on that. Uh, we're going to be in a bonus. Both teams have hit 16 fouls, and that could be one to one, even though there's 107 left. Not a lot of foul shots have been taken. The Clippers have yet to go to the line. Yeah, there was a really, first quarter was a really good, I mean, it was really perfect basketball from the Vineyarders. Slowed down a little bit, hasn't cost them anything. Oh. Defensive back play. Yeah. Nice catch. Under a minute to go now in the half. A stagnant quarter. Yeah, we're still up 15. <laughs> nice board by Lake. The story gets under control. 44 seconds left in the half. 26 left on the shot clock. Vineyarders with the ball. Nice spin. <laughs> it's a foul, sir. Nice, <laughs> nice, Mike. <laughs> 12 seconds left on the shot clock. That's a travel. Got ah. the ball back. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Need to shoot it. He does, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, if it had been a 30-second clock, we would have lost it on the possession because there's three now. So you know what? It's not a 30-second clock. <laughs> it's a 35-second clock. I wonder how that works. Like, I mean, you've been playing your whole life at the 30-second clock. Yeah, but it's so like, I wonder how hard really, it is. I don't to, think they like, pay much attention to but, it. Well, I think it makes it even easier to ignore at this point. But I wonder, yeah. like, when you're in that like fast mood, like you're in the fast movement, I wonder how it takes to like get back to it. Nate's going to be making foul shots in practice tomorrow. And, uh, <laughs> if this goes in, he's coming out of the game, going to be replaced by Cam Napier as soon as he pick up his third foul. That's three on number 12, though, Jack Watson, by the way. He's the lead scorer still, isn't he? Or no, it's uh, yeah. Gavin Friel now with the two threes. And, oh, he'll be doing double free throws now. Shot clock turned off. Nice, nice block. Good team defense there by our big men. Five seconds left. Vineyard will get the last. Ooh. We'll get the last shot. No, no they won't. Not. They need to shoot it, and they won't get it in time. <laughs> that was Keystone Cops, as they say. <laughs> well, I can tell you that we didn't have the most uh, explosive quarter. Went fast, though. Yeah, but still. I mean, we were you know, down. Uh, we scored 27 in the first quarter. We scored seven in the second. So we always Perfect have balance. a quarter that we take off, but uh, that's the standard operating procedure for these guys. But we only defensively, we only allowed five points. So we gained on the lead. It's 35-19. We'll recap the individual scoring and maybe get some rebound stats. And we'll start the second half. And if you're watching live, you've got nine minutes to go get do food, what you want to do. Get some food, get some drinks, food, you know. Hit the, hit the john, you know, whatever All you that. need to do. All right.
Okay, we got some stats here for you folks. Uh, we got 16 points for Mateus Rodriguez, along with uh, on <coughs> seven for 10 shooting. That's along all right. With four rebounds and two steals. The team itself has eight steals and 12 rebounds. Nate Story's got eight points, although he did miss two foul shots in the uh, second quarter. I know, should, we'll be 30, to should be 36 to 19. I know it. Ryan Coster's got four points. Josh Lake's got six. For the Clippers, Jason Falcone has a bucket. Gavin Fields got six. Josh Manning's got two. Jack Watson has five. And Benny Mahoney has four. Okay, so I'm looking for the strong third quarter action for the Vineyard. I know. Can, let's see. Are they a first and third quarter 15. team? Yeah, no. You know what? They usually take one quarter off. Eh. Gotta, gotta stay rested. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. So that's like the Celtics. What? Two years ago, Celtics took every third quarter off. Yeah, they've not been great with that this year either until recently. Well, they've lost two in a row. That's a good wake-up call for them. You know, ah, you need it. Just walk early into the gym and just show up. And early in the season, you need it. Robert Williams is supposed to be making his comeback tomorrow yes, versus the Lakers. Exactly. So. Bruins are doing great. They're uh, home against tonight. There we go. Patriots pulled it out. Thank you, some uh, Josh Uche sacks. And Judon. Yeah, and Judon, but I'm tired of staying up to midday. I'm so psyched that this next game is at 4.30 <laughs> in the afternoon. All right, Vineyard on the floor right now, and Hobie Roberts is going to inbound it. we got the starters back in the game with Foster at Lake, Rodriguez, Story, and Roberts. I'm curious if we're going to see that kind of minor full court press. Well, it was a major one from the vineyard. I wonder if they're going to keep it on. Almost oh. a stolen ball. Yeah, we're getting lazy with our passes. Looking for the opening. Goes for the three. Oh, Coster no good. misses it. So this is the group that's going to be in the 2 3 zone. Ooh, Ooh. That might have been. Uh, you shouldn't. It's not supposed to slap the backboard, but I think you can before it comes down. Okay. I think. Don't quote me. I, I could just I be making. I could you. just be making it up. That's you've been known to you do know. that. <laughs> nice movement onto the inside. And sweet. 18 points for Rodriguez. They are keeping that full court press going. Oh yeah. No, we're gonna be. And nice. oh. oh. Oh, and then you see the instant replay on that one. Costa with the foul. That's going to be his third? No, it's his no. first. Team's first, his third, his first. So we're already starting just like the first quarter. You just, what are you doing touching my phone? Trying to get the better view of the uh, replay. Ah, that wasn't a foul. <laughs> we get instant replay. You guys don't. Solid movement right now inside from the Clippers. And they and score for the basket. Mahoney with his uh, first bucket this quarter, team's first bucket, 36-21. Still have a 15-point lead. That's a comfortable lead. All you got to do is exchange baskets at this point for uh, – it's a comfortable lead. 16 more minutes. I mean, uh, Clippers are in his own defense. And we got a three. No good. Rebound by the Vineyard. Nice spin up and in. Josh Lake. Yeah, he's got, he can shoot the three. He can play down low. Handle the ball. Good athlete. He also uh, works with the United basketball team oh. that we have. So he's uh, one of the kids who helps. Very nice. Play kids on that program what what uh what uh regional system did he come out of what school system i don't know you don't know Agertown oak plus you don't no, know i don't you know I feel like everyone kept track of those i have no idea yeah. who what hood kids were raised in yeah or yeah went to play for then you're uh, solid defensively the clipper offense is pretty stagnant I think it's two based they're around the three-point line. They're one, one, three, one offense essentially. 
They have one up on top. They got one running, you know, corner to corner, and they have three across the. I mean, I think when you have when you have Rodriguez and Lake just kind of eating up the middle. Yeah. You don't. You can't make anything out of that. And if you're not getting shots off from this Shot up close and personal three point shooting, correct. doesn't. Like. Same, same team. <laughs> Got to tell them that. All right, fellas, let's Five go. Five minutes to go in the third. 38-21 to score. Nice look. Driving in and floating that it in. That was beautiful. That's a, that's a college tape worthy. <laughs> that little. Ooh, it's close to a foul by uh, Roberts. Yeah. That's an open three, but he didn't take it. No. Oh. Step back, no good. Clippers are fighting with the rim today also now in this half. Four ten remaining in the third. Been your lead by nineteen. Fall away. Maddie's upset that he didn't get that rebound. Number 44, uh, Miles uh, Peterkin is going to be stepping in for the Clippers. The next whistle. Take the three this time That's and makes good. it. Jack Watson. 340 remaining in the third. Vineyard lead 40 to 24 over the Clippers. That's his uh, second three. Time out on the floor. It is 40 to 24. Yes. We've outscored him six to five this quarter. That's all you got to do. The Clipper timeout. That's his second, I believe. To yep. get five a game. Choice is use none. Has, hasn't had a need to. No. That's the thing with the TV Celtics. Celtics don't need those uh, those timeouts. <laughs> Coach Joe doesn't like timeouts. He just just go with it. Yeah, let him play through. Same guys for the vineyard. And for the Clippers, uh, Falcon, Frio in the backcourt, along with the big guys, number 22, Brendan Mahoney, 12, Jack Watson, and 22, I already said him, 44, Peterkin. Oh, you had him in the middle, too. Corner. A little long. Lake and Foster had a little bit of a tag team rebounding attempt. Stage Clipper basketball sub going in. Andrew Floyd has not scored. Jackson Falcone's coming out. He has one bucket in the game, and that was in the first quarter. 308 remaining in the third. Peter has an active zone. They just, you know, let him, let him pour, pass it around the perimeter all they want. And really this half, the second half, Falmouth has really cooled off from the three. Nice block. And he got it a rebound. He can do it all. And block and saved it from going out of bounds. 240 remaining in the third. They haven't scored in a few minutes. I mean, neither of the Clippers. Points, but. Yeah. Roberts. Nice oh. rebound. Oh. oh. Didn't get it to go. Lake's going to go to the line for two, though.
And the Clippers, with 2.25 left to go in the third quarter, have yet to shoot a foul shot. That's wild. And it's well, they're not taking it to the hoop. That's true. I mean, yeah, I think they're not drawing any fouls. They're, they're almost not driving in the lane. They're almost afraid of Rodriguez in the center. I mean, it makes sense. He's been blocking everything, but it's everything's a fadeaway. Everything's a three-point shot. Boom. And they have Mahoney that can that can drive the middle, but they're just not taking it. Timeout this time by the Vineyard. 225 remaining. Vineyard up 42 24. I'm surprised you don't have the schedule to read what, what's coming next. Well, they're home again on Friday afternoon against uh, Sturgis. And then on uh, Tuesday, the Nauset Warriors are coming to town. So that's going to be a uh, different. It's interesting. I think, I mean, it makes a ton of sense doing the Cape and Islands League. Yeah, there's three divisions. The Atlantic Maritime and Lighthouse. I'm going to think I guess we're, we're the, the Maritime. maritime. We're maritime in the middle. Yeah. A little fitting, you know. Yeah, so we're just playing these guys once. We'll play home and away. with the, 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 Technically, this isn't really a league game. I'm surprised Falmouth's not in Maritime. No, they're in a, a they're bigger school. Oh, okay. There's a lot of it's by enrollment. You can oh, opt okay. up or down or whatever. Lighthouse, Maritime, and... Interesting. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Cuts the traveling down. Going to Somerset, Bishop Staying, Bishop Fee, and those were not those fun were uh, EAC commutes. Back yeah, in the EAC. EAC days. We were in the South Coast Conference way back in the 90s. EAC, independent for a while. So who's Nantucket in? They're in the Lighthouse Division. Yeah, at the smallest, smallest schools. Yeah. Nice passing. So Vinger's got just good, solid defense. He can take the three. No, he can't. Oh, he lost. Oh, that's a, not a great call. Ref was not in a good angle to see that one. No. That's only his second, team second. Again, we had uh, more fouls committed in the second quarter than we did in the, the first, and we're having only a couple, three fouls yeah, we got, against both teams. We got Ryan Costa responsible for two-thirds of the fouls this quarter. Yeah. <laughs> 150 left to play. 25 seconds left on the shot clock. Clippers trying to get some passing going. It's just vineyard dogging them on defense. And that's going to be Clipper ball. 18 on the shot clock. Ball was tipped out of bounds by Josh Lake. Josh Lake is all over the place. Good athlete. That's the thing you got. Your guy at the five, you got Rodriguez that can just kind of sit in the middle, and then you got someone just as big in Lake that can move around. And steal the ball just then. Nice Beautiful coast finish. to coast. Nice assist from Lake on that one, too. So we have three players in double figures now, which is fabulous team basketball. That's up for grabs. Wow, so I'm surprised that. Uh, Lake took the bad Peter approach can, on this. Well, I tried to undercut it. Peter can. He can mess up the end. He's allowed head. to, you know. <coughs> that's, that's a, yeah, easy foul to call. Roberts with the... Uh, Vineyard, uh, a little too many, too many that's fouls. His, that's his first, team's third. A little too many fouls at the end of this quarter right now. Yeah. They're almost doing a good job of drawing contact like that. Well, they wait. It's, I mean, there's plenty of time left. Vineyard lead by 20, one minute left in the third. But you'd think they would have started, the Clippers would have started this passing attack earlier as they missed that one, in and out, Lake on the rebound. But you thought you would think that he'd, he'd come out firing with that type of passing. Mm -hmm. I'm like that there's a good couple hundred people, two or three hundred people in the gym here, which is nice to see a good crowd on hand. There was a lot for the JV game as well. Yep. Reach and foul on that. 40.8 seconds left. Thomas called him. Oh, that's a, that's a vineyard roster. Wrong one. Mahoney called him the foul. If 
five second difference and Ooh. that ball. Goes. Oh, he got it. Story with the uh, nice. Made us wait for that one. Yeah, we had to. It went bounced off of the back of the basket and then went straight down through. Shot nice. clock turned off. Vineyard steal it. Nice drive. Oh, he got rejected by the rim. Blocked the rim on that one. That's why it flew back. He could have the three. Doesn't take it. There's a three. Short. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have 10 seconds because you're throwing it out of bounds. <laughs> here we go. A little reckless here. 5.5 left. Vineyard up 47-24 on the Clippers. Yeah, we beat this team by five last year over there. So uh, in our opening. Driving in. And yeah. One. Josh. Beautiful shot. Watson with his, uh, he's got 10 points. He's in double figures now. And going to the line for the first foul shot of the afternoon with 0.7 seconds. Seven hey. tenths of a second. Can't say the Clippers haven't gotten free throws now. No, we can't. We'll see what happens with this one. See if they're going to be shooting 100% from the line. And they will not be. <laughs> well, after three, Vineyard continued to dominate. Up 47-26 on the Falmouth Clippers. I say it's a quick time between quarters, so we don't have to worry too much. 13-point quarter for the Vineyard. That's the other thing, though. It's like you can't be like, it makes sense you take your foot off the gas a little bit scoring-wise. Because you can't just kill them on it. Keep the healthy distance. Don't foul. Let the clock run fast. Yeah, we've outscored Come out him. with that win. Right. We've outscored him 27-14 in the first quarter, 7-5 in the second quarter, 13-7 in that one. Come up with a 21-point lead. Subs are going in. Oh, has some excellent plus minuses after this game. I'm guessing that is not kept. Probably not. I didn't think we kept that for uh, college. We might have. Actually, no. It, it does it itself. It doesn't, it Plus doesn't minus is a. I mean, it's not a good. It's not a good basketball stat, but it's a stat. Because if you're a starter and you have a bad game, yeah, your plus minus is going to go plummet. But I don't. Even, it's all in, in hockey. It's all whether you're on the ice for scoring a goal or allowing a goal. That's how they oh, get okay. the plus minus. Oh I no, don't plus, know how they do it in basketball. Plus minus. It's the same thing, except it's just based off of baskets. So. It's a lot, plus minuses are a lot more extreme in basketball compared to like a three. Bruins must have, oh, that got a good could block. have been a foul, but got a, got I won't. Ball. Story's got it under control here. Bruins must have some good plus minuses this year. Definitely pasta, no, miss on that. That was Sam Zach with the miss. So Vineyard's only gone seven deep this today. Only have two subs have gone in. That would be uh, Napier and uh, Zach. The, the couple of the kids. Timmons played. Didn't. Timmons didn't, didn't play, score. Yeah, right, but right, so they're eight deep. Sounds about. I mean. I mean, I think we're going to see a lot more than eight deep by the end of this one. Nice drive and dish. Oh. Oh. Save. Okay. Oh. oh no good. That's and it. that works. <laughs> Touched by Mike accidentally. So Rodriguez is up to 20 points here. Doesn't have a double double yet, rebound wise. Although he did get two boards on that. So he could be up to six or eight rebounds. Oh, hello. <laughs> I see the board says says six rebounds. I think they're missing some rebounds. And his lead is 21 with 6.20 remaining. Nice screen. Story's just dishing inside. Maddie. Oh, boom. beautiful. 22 for Rodriguez now. He started, he had 11 in the first quarter, and that's where this team was uh, put away. 27-14 was the score at the end of one, so Vineyard, uh, did a good job. 
Simmons is going to enter the game now. So is Gossin for the Clippers. And a foul? Point five. Sam Zach, Sam that's his Zach second? The foul. That's his it's first. Only his no, first. No, it's not. It's his second. Okay. Right. Russ's got to get up there faster. That's the fifth for the for the Vineyard. 22 on the line, 4-2. That is Brendan Mahoney. He's got six points today. Still uh, still, an, still an offer from the line. They've only shot twice, but let's see this Maddie's one. going to have a seat. 22 yeah. points, probably nine or ten rebounds. I'm sure he probably had a double-double. I can't go, I can't look over the shoulder of the statisticians down in front of us. That looked like a much better block than a... Uh, oh, you've got... You've it just looked, looked much more it like a block, <laughs> but... It's all right. Nice skip pass, Timmons. So there's only been one made free throw today between both teams. Is that correct? Uh, no. Lake made two. Oh, Lake Lake's made two. That was Lake. Three. That's what it was, yeah. I forgot Lake had the extra two. No, so we're actually the Vineyard's five, four, eight. Oh, I forgot Rodriguez had some early. Yep, and Story missed two. That's what, yeah. Timeout on the floor has been called. 525 left to go. 51 to 28 is the score. Team fouls are five for the Vineyard, two for the Clippers. That's where you... Uh, if you're throwing the commercials, the vineyard commercials. <laughs> well, this is when I get to edit this down. We don't we just take the time out so we get this down to an hour and five minutes as opposed to an hour and a half. Exactly. But Even nice though it's so much easier just to pull down and uh, yeah. push back up. We only have 12 people watching, which is. I know James of is one of them. Is he? Yeah, okay. he is. He sent them a link. So. You sent him a link. And I think and I think the Clippers said they had some yeah, people that wanted to watch. People, so. Yeah. Normally I get like 80, 90 watching, but it's, again. Wasn't, I didn't advertise it well because I I'm wasn't be, convinced yeah. that I was going to have the tarot deck up and running. Yeah. But Chavonet Anderson at MVT TV knows exactly what she's doing. Tarot deck, good and little. And I the mean, the tarot deck actually remembered the IP address. Which oh, nice! Remarkable. It should be. Yeah, it should be stuck in there. The yeah, tarot decks are great. They're very a lot easier to come across too now. Well, I'd like to use YOLO, but anytime somebody walks in front of the YOLO, it loses the signal, so really? I have to keep on redoing it. We used to use, when we would do baseball games, so they didn't have Ethernet out there. Nice shot and score there by the Clippers. But when we didn't have we didn't have Ethernet or Wi-Fi out at the uh, baseball field, so they bought us a cellular hotspot <laughs> that connected to the, the whatever we were yeah. using for the Terra deck. And it worked. I was shocked. Three-point attempt. Bang. That's his fourth. Only four for him? Yep. Four threes. Oh, four three. I was like, yeah, wait. That's his fourth three-pointer. Ah, it makes more sense. I'm glad I'm making sense to you, Paul. There we go. <laughs> oh, there's a foul. No, no basket. On the floor, I think. Yeah, well, no. Napier. Thirty-three is on the line. For we, you know, we now we're in foul mode here. Oh boy, that's a lot of time yeah, left too. Here we go. It's all right. Sit back and relax. We're up to fourteen people watching on YouTube. Oh, there we go. Talking into existence and still. They're over. There, that's the over from the line. Still, jeesh. Yeah. I know who's going to be practicing free throws tomorrow. 4.43 remaining. Vineyard up by 24. There you go. Night 23. <laughs> <laughs> and it made foul shot. Oof. Oof, that's good defense by number two, Jackson Falcone. Ooh. That's a foul. Could have gone for the Hail Mary on that one. Yeah, we, we, we had a touchdown pass that We had way. a touchdown, yeah. Yeah, because Roberts was running down court. That's the third team foul. If they want to get into it by fouling, they got to do some work here. Story. Careful. All three points weren't over. Again, where was this court. intensity earlier in the game? What, defensive intensity? Yeah. yeah. Got kids who want to play. Come in there yeah, now. good point. There's a foul. 
Eh, I don't. I, I don't agree with that one. I don't agree with no with with a foul yeah, on that. Foul. Eh. Mike Joyce is going. He's just mugging him. I think he was selling it well. No, oh. he was mugging him. Size difference, you know. There's definitely a size difference in the center right now. And number two, Miles Hayes is going to go into the game. Now we're going deep. 22's was started out as their five, so it's interesting that they're having him with around the arc. Mahoney? Yeah. He was matched He's with Rodriguez. Yeah. He was matched with Rodriguez really yeah. the whole first three quarters. 33 is a big kid here, actually. Yeah. He's what year is he? He's a junior. Gossing. Ooh, lost it, picked it back up. Has has Timmons. Give him a skip pass. Has the shot, doesn't pass it back. Story for three. Oh. Short. Getting Time the subs out in. On the field, has been the field. It's a court. A lot of fields. <laughs> I call this the, one. This one's artificial. Yeah, this one's good. Sub going Kinda, in. Kind of. Ten. The wax is artificial. Josh Manning in. For the Clippers. A very fast game. Started at what, 4.30-ish? 20 of, 20 of 5. 25. Oh, backcourt. Oh, no, it wasn't tipped. <laughs> These guys want to, it's like, it's not. Come on, can't get there's a boat to catch. The 6.15 boat that is they've what missed, they're on. They've missed the 6.15. No, they oh, have, that's but a foul. it's only 10 of 5, 10 of 6 now. You got to rip, gotta rip it, got to rip it down. Maybe they'll catch the 645 it. freight boat, no, or 630 freight boat. The 615 is uh, doable for them. If you pray. Oh, uh, now we're at 101. Oh. Uh, there you go. That, that just, see, that's that what, could make it. That's what, that's what you get. Don't call a foul. Manning on the line for two. That's the third foul on Cam Napier. Is it two or 101? One one or was one. it a foul, was it a shooting foul? One to one, that's right. Timmons with the rebound. I definitely see a, uh, you don't rush this, you just use up the shot clock. Maybe not. Run, run their offense. Three pointer. Hayes. Oh, in, in and, and out. out. And stereo, in and out, folks at home. Story still uh, playing a lot of minutes today. Yeah. Nice hands. 2.15 remaining. Hayes picks it up. Euro step. Oh, gorgeous <laughs> play <laughs> by Miles Hayes. Euro step, reverse spin, finger roll. Clip that one. Off the backboard and in, in that order. Got to bring back your MVTV top 10. It, it will be good. 149 left in the game. Vineyard lead the Clippers 58 to 31. And we have a timeout to get subs in. Doesn't want to talk to anybody. Oh my god, they've made this so much smaller. I'm looking at the uh, the rosters behind our head. I even remember when they were the big wood that you painted on. I'm old. These are much easier to take care of. Absolutely. They weigh a lot less. They aren't going to fall down. That's uh, he no, he's not get, back for it. Yeah, it's not because it's an inbounds play. Exactly. Five seconds left on the shot clock, and we're going to see him trip, shoot it. No good. Oh, so close to having the first 35 second violation. <laughs> so close yet so far. Got to make. I mean, now we can sports better Three -pointer, Massachusetts. Three pointer, no good. Rebound control by the Clippers. Pretty soon we'll be under a minute to go in the game, and the bench has been emptied. Evan Hoffman is going to be going in. Maybe they'll call another timeout. He has another timeout, so I think he's All taking right. four. He's taking four, so he's one left. Oh, oh yeah. rejected. Block. Rejected by Sam Zach. 56 seconds left. 
in the game. I am going to take a uh, risky thing and say the Vineyard's going to start out 1-0 on the regular season. Two bolds. No, I think we're, we should be safe. Zach doesn't get the three. Trout track down, rebound by hey, Hayes. One second, barely one second difference in the shot clock and game clock. I just say hold for the last shot probably. Eh, yeah, get no, the offense not. going. There we go. Yeah, now you just dribble it out. No shots. No shots. Let it go. 58-31. What a no. Your Martha's Vineyard Vineyarders. Leading all scorers, 16, 18, 20, 22. Mateus Rodriguez, Mike Hay Miles Hayes as a bucket. Nate Story, draining the three. He has 18. Foster with four, but nothing short of hustle out there for him. And Josh Lake ended up with 10. Pretty solid. Yeah, that's real solid. Good, good uh, balance scoring. I'd say you'd be good working defense. the kinks out, but they look they they were firing on all cylinders. Yeah, it was good. Good crowd on hand as they're leaving. Kids are shaking hands. We will be underway here on Friday again. 4:30 tip off, weather permitting. It's supposed to be a nasty day on. Uh, yes, on, it is on Friday, but. We are good to go here. Thank you, Clifton Paul. No that worries. was fun to maybe have I'll you up here. <coughs> maybe I'll see you on Friday. Yeah, we'll be here. Let me get the rebound totals. Wow, Mateus had six rebounds, so he didn't have a double-double. No, that. we're pretty solid. Taking a picture Taking of it. Just in smart. case. It's a just smart in thing case. To do. All right, yeah. Dan, you can shut it off. We're good to go. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> do we unplug the Terra Deck? He just shook.